That men's 77 kilo session was absolutely incredible, action packed from start to finish. I mean, in the snatches, we saw a 177 world record snatch come out of Lu Jun, the same weight that he missed at Worlds last year. This year, absolutely destroyed it. But he was getting a good push to get there through Andrini Karpetian, who opened at the same weight as Lu and finished with 174. Now, it looked like it was going to be the Lu Jun and Andrini Karpetian show because honestly, no one was even close. The closest people coming out of the snatch were 9 kilos back at 165 and there were 3 men tied there. But in the clean and jerks, Karpetian dislocates his elbow, pulling him out of the competition and that gap gives Lu Jun and his team a little too much confidence, so they let off the gas a little bit. More conservative with his clean and jerks, hoping to avoid bombing out as he did at Worlds, he goes for 202, which ties him with his Olympic record total at 379 kilos. A 12 kilo difference between him and second place, Nijat Rahimov, seems to be insurmountable until Rahimov calls for a 214 clean and jerk, an absolutely insane number considering it's four kilos over the world record and no one in the 77 class has even cleaned that on an international platform. He gets out there and destroys the lift, setting a new world record, tying Lu Jun's Olympic record total and taking gold on body weight. It was an absolutely impressive performance, one of the greatest clean and jerks I've ever seen. When the pressure is on Nijat Rahimov of Kazakhstan, he showed up and he claimed what was his, that Olympic gold medal. He took it from who used to be the king of the 77s, Lu Jun. Congratulations to Nijat Rahimov. I guess all that's left there to say is the king is dead, long live the king. Be sure to pay attention to flowlead.com for all your Rio updates. Remember, tomorrow there's no action. They have a rest day, but we're picking back up on Friday with the women's 75 and the men's 85. Later.